Hey everyone, my name is Ru, and we are here, and this is going to be week number three of the UEL Season 7, and we are against Matt O'Shea and his Montreal Milotics. Now, this is going to be a really, really tough one. To be honest, I built a bit of a silly team, and I wish I could kind of say that, hey, I know we're going to match up in, in playoffs, and so I didn't want to bring my top stuff, but it's not the case. The truth is, I built this team really, really quickly, and a lot of this is not going to be optimal, but uh, it's just kind of a couple of, of ideas that I had, and I hope that it kind of works, but it does still serve the purpose, as it's probably not stuff that I'll ever bring ring again so hopefully it kind of works out we'll, we'll try to see what kind of happens here but i'm just gonna get right into it okay we are here and we're gonna see the crawdont clefable ferrothorn garchomp mantine and vanilla because that's it okay so right off the bat nosa valet is really interesting i'm very surprised i know galler sloking i really struggled against galler sloking genuinely 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 and i'm very surprised to see no rapid ash i really thought rapid ash could be kind of a flash fire defensive set against my cinderace uh no butterfree is interesting but but yeah the, the combination of galar slow king mantine and rapid ash really surprises me honestly okay 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 i kind of feel like i kind of feel like i can make this lead it just kind of covers most things and we can kind of take it from there. I could set up Toxic Spikes really early on. Uh, this thing doesn't have U-Turn, which is unfortunate. I'm, I'm torn between these two. I'm torn between these two. And I kind of want to do this. Only because I know Matt uh, really likes kind of breaking with, with his lead. And he might want to break with Crown early. I'm not too, too sure about that. But uh, it's just kind of a little bit of a hunch. I don't know. I don't know. We will see. I believe I gave all of my Pokemon natures this time, or, or positive natures. But uh, we're gonna see. As far as lead options, he could. I I I doubt that he wants to just lead off with. Um. Okay. Very very interesting. Maybe he expected me to want to lead off with. With um. With a thing, but I kind of expect an Aurora Veil to come out here. I kind of expect an Aurora Veil to come out here. And I kind of just want to click Volt Switch. I could also web up. But it's not going to help the most. I think Volt Switch is fine here. I think Volt Switch is fine here. Just goes for a straight up Blizzard. Uh, we take that okay. Not Definitely not great. But we're going to get the heck out of here. We're going to get the heck out of here. And... You can go out here... I think we'll do that, yeah. I think this is fine. If this thing is choice, um, it'll probably switch out. If this thing isn't choice, this thing will probably go for Flash Cannon. And I designed this Gigalith to take two Flash Cannons uh, from full. Uh, even uh, with or without hail. But obviously without hail is a lot uh, better for me. Uh, and yeah, I just kind of want to get up rocks. We are smooth rocks, so that'll help a out a little bit, but maybe I should get a blitz. I don't know. I, I don't know how important ones will be. Was that into this? That's fine. Uh, I probably I don't know. Maybe maybe it was a mistake not to bring not to bring body press on this thing, but I could just go into this. It invites in the Mantine, which I could take advantage of. Uh, let me think this through. No, it's, it's too early, it's too early, it's too early. Honestly, this might be the best play here. I think I'll do this. I don't think he has any reason to just kind of do anything but get up hazards. Um, but I can deal with that with Tornadoes later. Goes for Leech Seed. Okay, okay, okay. I think regardless, I, I get up Toxic Spikes. Um, I don't know exactly what he would want to do here. Maybe just Protects. Maybe just protects. That, that doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah, regardless, I think I think spikes is the play. And then this thing just has coverage for whatever wants to come in. Really, it doesn't have anything for the guard chomp. But that, I mean, that we just kind of manage, right? And when and if we have rocks and toxic spikes up, then we are in a very very interesting position. Does this straight up withdraw? goes out into this thing. Okay. We do have Thunderbolt for this thing. I don't think it's going to be the craziest thing in the world. This thing could just want to defog if it does. 
if it does, Thunderbolt should do a bunch. Oh, I should have looked into this before the game, but Thunderbolt is barely a two hit. And I think this thing is just showed leftovers. It's it's according to this, we still have a we still have like a, about an eighty percent chance to 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 hit KO. Sorry, um, that doesn't account for Sand and it doesn't count for Lee Sheet, but I believe those two should cancel each other out. Uh, so I guess we'll see. Oh, also this this um oh no, it's it's heavy duty boots because it didn't take any rock damage. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, that's fair. So. We will be able to get a Thunderbolt off. I do kind of think that think view this thing as a little bit expendable. It does get a burn right away. But a Thunderbolt here will mean a lot. Yeah, we do well over half. Um And we should have a solid chance to do a KO. Although I do, I do kinda of want to switch out because I don't think he'll he'll stay in to kind of handle actually he'll probably just roost. He'll probably just roost. That makes a ton of sense to me. It'll probably just roost. It probably means that I should go into Vicable. I should just harden to Vicable right now. And I'll do that. He hasn't clicked default yet, I don't think. And uh There's nothing he doesn't seem too too uh intent on setting up hazards. Yeah, this thing does come in. This is a pretty free Volt Switch. You could just expect that going to Guard Chomp, and that'll put me in an, in an awkward position. Um, but I, but I just bug was into it, right? I, I don't think that I am too that I should be too precious about maintaining this this Vigil Volt here, especially taking so much damage. I'm just really not going to take an Aqua Jet anytime soon. Uh, I could also Sticky Breath. That might help be super helpful, actually. I think we just Volt Switch regardless. I think if the Garchomp comes in, I have to assume that it, that it's going to rock up, and I and I have to just bug buzz into it, um, especially because that's going to be huge for for my Cinderace later. Just any damage onto it will help my Cinderace a ton later, and we can kind of take it from there. We can take it from there a little bit, but I also I also wouldn't be surprised to see a couple other things. Pineapple, uh, yeah, that's Garchomp. That's fine. That's fine. This thing, this thing will get Toxic Spiked, which is probably the biggest here. I could expect Rocks and go straight into Tornadus or something. Is that Lum? Yeah, it's Lum. Okay. Uh, I don't... I, I can't imagine he would just straight up and out um, Stone Edge right off rip. So. I'm just going to try to hit a Bug Buzz. I probably should have just clicked Sticky Web and, and seen what happened, especially because the switch was so obvious. Maybe I should have just clicked Bug Buzz. I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. But we're here, and I think we can kind of manage things a bit. The Crawdon's still the toughest thing to kind of manage here. The Crawdon's still very tough to manage here. And it's not something that I have very obvious answers to. It goes for Dragonfly. That's totally fair. That's totally fair. So what do we do now? What do we do now? What do we do now? I think... I think... We could just go into this thing and try to hit a hurricane. Makes as much sense as anything else, right? Makes as much sense as, as anything else. So Vigil Vault does make it out of this game without any KOs, which is unfortunate. Um, for the way that the season's been going, but I think it's still correct because the Pokemon, the Pokemon in the back still. This thing could be. No, it's not scarred. It really sucks to miss that. It really sucks to miss that. And this is gonna take away my defog for the rest of the game. Which he doesn't know. He could expect my 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 extra to to be spin. So maybe that that holds him off on on things. We missed another. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Now I kind of don't know what we do. Now I kind of don't know what we do. 
Um. Hmm. My only thought here. Let me think this through. Uh. Well, I have to do this anyway, right? I don't think it's really up for debate. I don't think it's really up for debate. But. If I go to Gigalith. I should take a non boosting item Earthquake. Oh yeah, it, it, of course it's 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 lumber, so it's on boosting item. Even if it's adamant, I take a, I take one non boosting item earthquake, and I just click explosion, go into go into um what's that thing called? Uh, what is the thing called? Uh, exit drill and start doing things. Although if if he goes into vanillix, then that's really bad for me, but. I'm just gonna not think about that for now. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no better play here. There's no better play here. So I, I feel like I just take this opportunity and go for it, right? And the thing is, if I do go into extra off of this, well, no, the next, yeah, this is this is a bad play because he always has the vanilla looks in play. You could go into vanilla looks now. And that doesn't really help me at all because uh, I don't have sand for the rest of the game after this. And hmm. the tough part is the combination goes for sword dance. Okay, that's unexpected. But it still it still gives my I still gives my extra girl the opportunity to take at least one KO with him, with or without the extra girl. Or, Without, with or without the vanilla coming in. So we can kind of manage that a little bit, right? And... Actually, the, the vanilla could be scarfed. I, I suppose I don't know that yet. But I was going to say... Could I kill with Rock Slide here? We saw how much I did. That's about... Yeah, that should be about... Uh, minimal bulk, right? Uh, I don't even know why, why I look this up. There's probably no chance. Oh, we should probably click Iron Head just in case, right? At least to get some damage off on a man on a potential Mantine coming in. Um, I don't think it matters because we because the next play would be to Swords Dance up anyway, right? It might not ever matter. Yeah, we just click Earthquake every time. We just click Earthquake every time. So we do pick up a KO. This house beats any scarf, um, but the, the vanilla is coming anyway, so it's a, it's kind of moot. The vanilla comes in anyway, so it's kind of moot. Uh, a really fun play is if, would be if I had manual sandstorm and I could really take advantage of, of the vanilla coming in. Um, I, I couldn't imagine it KOing me without um, a boosting item off rip, and then we can kind of go in a bit. But either way, Iron Head should net me a KO. And then after that, uh, we still take a ton of damage from a blizzard. This thing could be scarfed. No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, okay. If this thing is just scarfed, or no, it, it has to be specs in order to go with blizzard. Yeah. So we always take a hit and then, and then uh, get KO'd after that. But the bigger deal to me, you just pick up, pick up a. a Picking up AKO, and then going from there. I guess Rock Slide is just is just as good a play, just because it covers any potential switches in. Maybe I make a switch here. Is that worth it? It is not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We just click Rock Slide, I suppose. I don't. I don't think this is particularly winnable. But again, um, this is definitely not an optimal team that I uh, think is probably best, and. Uh, not to make any excuses, obviously Matt out prepped me and outplayed me, and I really didn't take into account uh, how problematic the Vanellix would be in a lot of my thinking and planning and overall playing of this game. But okay, uh, okay, so we're back and uh, we're here up against this ice cream cone, and uh, I think I, I think last time I clicked Rocks and Light, I don't 100% remember, but I think regardless, I'll just. Click it again. We'll see uh, how fast this thing is. This thing does go for Blizzard. 
So this thing is probably uh, timid, if not scarf. I guess. I guess we'll find out after the match. But uh, I'm trying to think. Um, the thing is, the thing is. Um, the big thing here is that all the things in the back are not great for me. I think, honestly, the best case scenario, funnily enough, is that the Crawdont comes in now, like, super aggressively, right? Because the Crawdont... But I guess there's no reason not to bring in Ferrothorn, right? Yeah, there's no reason not to bring in Ferrothorn. I think if the Ferrothorn comes in... I think if the Ferrothorn comes in, I let him pick up the KO. I go into Cinderace, and then maybe that fades in the... Okay, okay. That's, that's maybe best case scenario, in all honesty. In all honesty, that might just be best case scenario. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't think I ever uh, take any type of Aqua Jet, but this thing going for Aqua Jet enables my Cinderace in a, a huge amount, right? So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look into things a little bit. But Cinderace being here against Crawdont. Uh, I don't think that was like I don't think that revealed any type of life orb or anything like that. Oh, Aqua just a straight-up KOs anyway. Oh, but that's Adamant Adaptability Life Orb. I uh, take off the Life Orb, and I go down to Hail in a couple turns anyway. So I guess it's not going to be the biggest deal in the world, but uh, we can surprise him with, with, with Electro Ball. If I do get... Actually, because now I don't KO the, the Mantine anymore without an Agility up. So I guess it's all moot, right? I guess it's all moot, but we will be at plus two, which is relevant, right? And if we are at plus two, then yeah, we always kill with an Electro Ball. So let's just go for that. Assuming that I just get Aqua Jetted. Uh, we'll see how offensive this thing is. Ah, uh, that's definitely adamant. Yeah, that's for sure adamant. But we get to show off the set a little bit. Uh, I think even if the... Mantine chooses to come in. Even if the Mantine chooses to come in, I can't KO it anymore. Yeah, because I need I need to have an agility up in order for for Electro Ball to really do it. But he might not know that, and he might um, he might not think of that immediately. Yeah, it goes into this thing. Oh, this thing is probably unaware. The, just how fast he went into it, it, it's probably unaware. Now that I think about it, the Fable. We'll see. Uh, so plus two should have a chance to KO. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll give it a try. We'll see if this thing is unaware right now. If we do, if, if we, if we come close to picking up a KO, then this thing is not unaware. If it's, it's not unaware, but we don't pick up a KO. Oh, it's sashed. Okay. That makes, that makes a ton of sense. It makes a ton of sense. But now, now it's Weezing against the world, and... It's wheezing against three la three of the remaining mods, right? And this is quite a bit awkward because okay, so before before um I might not even outspeed this thing. How oh, oh, I, I almost definitely don't, right? This thing might have a little bit of speed. We technically speed tie, but uh, it probably has a little bit of speed. Either way, I, I, I mean, I, I, I guess we'll see. The, the match either ends here, or Weezing t might take one or two KOs. Okay, switches out. That's super duper interesting. Goes into this thing. I get the Sludge Bomb off. Hail stops, which is also super duper interesting. Uh, I can click Thunderbolt a couple times, right? I think... So, before this whole thing... Before this whole recreation started... Matt said to me that he hopes that, that not getting the burn won't matter, and I and I said I super doubt that it, that it does matter, but it might actually matter. I, I mean, at, at least for dip, I actually don't think I can win this anymore. But it, no, it, no, this no, it doesn't even matter for dip. Okay, so thankfully it, it doesn't matter anyway. But uh, Weezing actually could have picked up these these final KOs here. It, uh, we, I would have had it been a little bit faster. But, yeah, Weezing could have done it, which is really interesting to think about, right? So, so just looking at this, um, Mantine, I don't even think Mantine is that fast, is it? 
Yeah, so if I ran enough speed to outspeed man time, then then I mean maybe it's it was possible, right? Uh I think I think ultimately Ferrothorn would have always been able to take a hit. Probably gyro ball back, at least do enough damage where where, where it always gets there in the end. But um yeah, this was a really interesting game. I got to at least show off the, the, the weakness policy tank. Um Things definitely didn't go the way that I would have liked, but like I said, Matt just absolutely outprepped me and outthought me uh, in this conceptualization process and outplayed me ultimately, for sure, for sure. But that's going to be week three. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the EBL as well as other things in the super near future. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, out.